Hi, my name is Devdat Patnaik. Today we will go on a journey to discover the history of mythology. In today's episode, we will focus on Saraswati, the goddess of knowledge. Saraswati is the goddess of knowledge. We find her images in schools, in libraries. She wears a white sari. She holds a veena in her hand. a book a pen when was the earliest image of saraswati created the saraswati is worshiped since vedic times but we have no artifacts from the vedic period we have no artifacts of saraswati from the mauryan period the earliest image of saraswati actually comes from a jain shrine in mathura roughly around the 2nd century It is not a complete image but we find the image of a goddess with a book in her hand and this is the earliest image of Saraswati that we have. Now Saraswati was revered not just by Hindus but also Buddhists and Jains and therefore when we go to Ellora which is about 8th century we find the goddess holding a lotus flower next to her is a peacock and a student sitting in front of her on a desk. In the Jain traditions Saraswati is far more elaborate she is the goddess of the art she is the goddess of music she is associated with the wisdom transmitted by the tirthankars she stands next to the tirthankars holding musical instruments uh, and that is important because for a long time wisdom was transmitted orally writing was restricted to a small group of people Jain Shwetambara tradition her symbol is the swan or the goose and in the jain digambar tradition her symbol is the peacock and so today we find both these images even in hindu art so about 1000 years ago in pala art in eastern india we find vishnu with lakshmi and saraswati by his side vishnu represents a king Lakshmi represents his treasury and Saraswati the arts that he patronizes. In the Hoysala temples in the Khajuraho temples we find Brahma with Saraswati next to him. So Saraswati has now become a consort part of a couple. So her independent identity is subsumed under brahma but then she reemerges as an independent goddess in miniature paintings where she is shown with various kinds of waterfowl cranes swans goose because crane becomes a symbol of concentration goose separates milk from water and therefore the symbol of analysis and that is the image that is now come down to us in poster art in schools and libraries <laughs>